All right, in this video, I'm going to do another example of solving word problems using quadratics. So, in this case, suppose we have a manufacturer and they develop uh, a formula to determine the demand for the product depending on the price in dollars for each object. So, we get the formula that the demand is equal to 2000 plus 100p minus 6p squared. Again, p is the price per unit and d is the number of units in demand. And we want to know what would the price need to be so that the demand will become 1,000 units. So again, all we have to do in this case is just take our formula. We want the demand to equal 1,000. So I'm just going to plug that on the left side. The right side we'll just leave alone. And again, now I've got a quadratic equation um, that I can solve. So what I'm going to do is subtract 1,000 from each side, so that'll give me 0 on the left. If I take away 1,000 from 2,000, I'll still be left with 1,000, plus 100p minus 6p squared. I'm going to reorder things here a little bit. I'm going to write my negative 6p squared first, then I have my 100p, and then I have my positive 1,000. But again, what I like to do is I like to make the coefficient um, on the, the squared term, I like to, that to be positive. Um, so again, I guess it really doesn't matter in this case, but uh, if I was going to try to factor it, I think I would try to do that. Um, one thing we can do for sure, well, let's do that anyway since I'm talking about it. So I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1. You could certainly go ahead and just start using the quadratic formula immediately. 6p squared, um, we would get minus 100p minus 1,000. And just to make the numbers a little bit smaller, I'm also going to divide both sides by 2. So on the left, we have 0. On the right, we would have 3p squared minus 50p minus 500. And I think that's about um, all we can divide by here. That was the greatest common factor. So now I'm just going to use the quadratic formula. It says the price would be negative b, which is the negative of negative 50, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c. And that's all divided by 2 times the a value, which is 3. So it looks like in this case we're going to get positive 50, and then we've got plus or minus. When we take negative 50 times negative 50, that's going to give us positive 2,500. Um, let's see, then we'll have negative 4 times 3, which is going to give us a negative 12. If we then multiply the negative 12 by 500, that's going to give us positive 6,000. Again, dividing everything here by 6. And now what we're going to do, we're going to take... So 2,500 plus 6,000 is going to give us 8,500. Again, if we divide everything by 6. Again, now, notice we get two solutions. We would get the 50 plus the square root over 6. We would get 50 minus uh, the square root of 8,500 over 6. Um, but notice the square root of 8,500. So let's see, the square root of 8,500, I'm going to start approximating here now. Um, so the square root of 8,500, I'm getting that to be roughly equal to 92.195 all over 6. So notice if we, if we take the, the 50 minus 92.195, we would get a negative number. And again, the price should be something positive. So we're just going to use the 50 plus 92.195 over 6. And when I simplify that, let's see, so, so 50 plus 92.125, okay, that's not too hard. But then when we divide that by 6, I'm getting 23.6875. And since we're talking about money, I would round that up to uh, probably 0.69. So 
So in this case, assuming we're talking about dollars, and okay, we did specify, we did say dollars up here. It says, if they make the price per unit uh, approximately $23.69, that is when the total demand for this object will drop to 1,000 units.